All right. This is the zookeeper, and we are feeding some green mambas today. They're going to have a couple of mice. Because I have them. They're large mice. They need to start getting more prey like that. The key here. And be safe and unlock these things. Because... These are dangerous animals. You can kind of see there right there. That is my sweetheart. Yeah, me and her have a thing. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell Mr. Green. Whatever you do. I don't think he would understand. But. She will probably be the first one to eat. Hold on. Let me find my flashlight. There it is. I always want to make sure I know where everybody is. There you are. Make sure he's still in there. He likes to hang out in this hide. Right here. But if I can get her over here in this direction. There. Then maybe I can put this other mouse in here over here. Because he's going to smell it once I put one in here. They're both going to like, huh? Because I know they like mice. And these are some fairly sized. These are, these are some good sized mice. They're adult sized mice for sure. So. Let's see if we can find one of them that'll volunteer. Who wants to go first? Who? You? Okay. All right. All right. All right. You get to go. Look at him kicking his and saying, I want to go. 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 Check it out. Alright. Now that is a big mouse. But I don't think there will be a very... There won't be a problem with... I don't think we're going to have a problem with somebody being able to swallow that. They've had bigger rats. Even the little baby rats, I think we're a little bit bigger than these full grown rat uh, mice. But as you can see, I try to just draw in a little bit closer. And let me see what's going on here. Let's see both of them are out. There's Mrs. Green. Now he's over there in front of that Mr. Green's cave too. That should get Mr. Green's attention right there. So it wouldn't surprise me to see a little green head start poking out through that door. Smelling that mouse. But it looks like Mrs. Green is going to be the one who did. Oh. Okay. Maybe they would prefer to, you know, the rats. It's like, you know, you try to get everything transferred over to rats. And then, you know, when you do get everything transferred over to rats, what do you do with your mice? So there's always something that likes mice. But today, these guys are more like, you know, I think the rats are better. I, you know, I think, what do you think? I think rats are better. That's what she's saying. You have to tell. I can read her mind. I'm the snake whisperer. Whisper, don't say it, say snake whisperer, say, yeah. Uh oh, look at her, she's saying, are you talking to me? Are you, are you whispering to me? Did you not know that my husband is right there? And he's right there, and I'll tell you what, well, the, that dude has some venom. Uh oh, uh oh, here we go. This could be the end. Uh oh, man. A lot more patience than I expected. Because I know they're hungry. Oh, man. So this time, I am going to toss the little rat. This is a rat this time. I'm going to put the rat at the other end. Kind of where Mr. Green is. 
want to make sure both their heads are right there where they both should be on that side. I'm going to toss this rat right over there. And it went right inside with Mr. Green. I bet that freaked him out so bad that there's no way he's going to bite it. Oh. I don't know. I saw a little something. Oh. Man. There may be more going on inside there than we know. Mr. Green, you don't want to get caught in the back room with him. You'll never be seen again, man. Oh, man. Look at Mr. Green. Oh, no. No. Oh, that's the end of that. Mr. Green, he does those things. You know what I mean? He does those things. Yeah. Not much you can do about it when Mr. Green gets you. It's about over with. You don't mess with Mr. Green. Right, don't do it. It's just not a good idea. And this is on a bad thing. Let me open this up. So anyway, there's that mouse. And... I think that one of the snakes, one of them has got the rat. I'm not sure which one's got it. I may have to throw in another rat because they're not interested in the mouse. Yeah. It looks like it is Mrs. I figure she would eat first because there's Mr. There's Mr. right there. And guess what he ain't got? He says, man, I'm the one that killed it. And she's the one eating it. And she says, she's saying, and I'm like, don't talk with your mouth full. Don't say that about Mr. Green. He's okay. So what if he's skinny and long? You know, you would rather have a big fat viper. Well, to each his own, Mrs. Green. I mean, come on. You can't always get what you want. Yeah, mm, that rat tastes good. Good stuff, man. I'm gonna have to go get another one because Mr. Green is in looking mode for his. If I throw another one in right quick, maybe I can keep her from eating it somehow. So now, I'm going to put another one since her mouth is busy and full. I'm not going to worry as much. Cause, well, she's really just, oh, there he is in the back. Let me see if I can help him out. Because he's coming around this way, so I'm going to put it over here. Uh -oh. And that scared her. So she came off of hers. Well, you know, and he's going to go in there. Oh, I can't get over how uh, Mrs. Green is basically undisturbed. I mean, she's getting it from both directions, from them white, uh, the mouse on one side and the rat on the other. And she's catching it from both sides. And I see Mr. Green poking in his head right there in that cave right behind where Mrs. Green is. See her head? Right behind her head is Mr. Green coming to see what's going on over here at this end of the road. What's going on? I heard there was a party over here. Somebody said they were going to eat rat. I love rat. It's better than mouse. Have you ever, I, I, now that I've gone to rat, I can't go back. They got a mouse around here somewhere, but he just don't taste right. Come on, can I just have like this leg? Like, how about this, you know, right there. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, no, no, the belly button. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. Let me hold on, hold on, hold on. Right this, right there. The drumstick. The drumstick, man. Oh, dude. You won't even give me the drumstick? What am I going to do now? What am I going to do? Oh, man. You're going to make me go get another one, aren't you? I see how it is. Well, 
Alright. Let's see. Mrs. Green always eating the food she likes to eat. You gotta make sure Mrs. Green gets all the groceries. Poor, poor Mr. Green always has to do without. Comes home to eat and all he can see is a Mrs. Green with a mouth full of rat. And she's like, uh-oh. Uh-oh. I turn my back for a second and I come home and Mrs. Green has got a mouth full of rat. And then she wouldn't even share it with me. She wouldn't give me a drumstick. Uh, see her? Now she's all happy. She's looking around like, you know, I may go for seconds. Yeah. Look at that lump in her. Working its way down. Ain't that cool? Woo! She's reaching over a branch while she's working that food down her like that. That looks cool. Yeah, she's such a pretty girl. I like Mrs. Green. I like that she's not uh, shy, even slightly. She never gets aggressive, and she never uh, acts like she's going to be... She don't run away, and she don't act aggressive. So now, she's a big girl. We can just get Mr. Green to start getting that sweet. There he is coming out his hole over here on the left at the bottom. And here comes his little rat. And I'm hoping he'll come out and get the thing. He's still kind of confused because he knows he bit something. But where's that something that he bit? Huh. It's supposed to be around here dead somewhere. Well, yeah. It's actually between the branch and the ground inside of your wife right now. Yeah, you can see the... Yeah, it's evidence, Mr. Green. I think we can tell you right now that there's evidence that the, it's your wife ate, ate that rat. It's pretty uh, some clear signs that maybe, just maybe, she ate your rat. Uh huh. Now with the courts in America right now, I think you got you get you got it. I think you can get something out of this. Yeah, maybe if she ever has a perfect shed, you can probably have it. I bet you, I bet you could. Yeah, yeah. But better yet, in another year or so, you can make little Mrs. Greens and Mr. Greens. Huh? How about that one? Just think about it. Think about your future, young man. That's amazing that she's sitting there uh, swallowing that rat midair like that. Going up a tree, swallowing as she goes. And since they live in the trees, I'm sure that this is kind of Something they do on a regular basis. Maybe it, it helps. I can see how it would help you swallow. Get a little gravity on your side. Because she has definitely been swallowing it mid hanging right there in the air this whole time. That's cool. I sure wish Mr. Green would come over here and get that little rat. We're gonna run out of film, man. We're gonna run out of film, Mr. Green. Hey, man, hey, Mr. Green, hey! Where you going, man? Look at her pulling that rat over the top of that branch now. It's going around back now. And there it is, it'll sit right around that part of her belly for the next couple of days. It'll be gone in two days. They digest those things so fast. They're so, uh, they got a high metabolism. They move around a lot. Especially Mrs. Green. She's definitely moves around a lot. Mr. Green, he stays in the hide a lot. He don't move as much as she does. But that's probably why she eats twice as much as he does, too. And that's why she's twice as big as he is, too. She 
likes to eat. I know this is fixing to uh, say no, so I'm going to say no and start this video. He'll never even know. Hey, don't look. Watch. Did I just say don't look? Watch. Man. Come on, man. Get it together. Get on your eyes. If he'll just go over there and get that little rat, we'll be in good shape. And as you can see, Mrs. Green. Oh, there's a bite. There's a bite. And that rat is not happy. So Mr. Green now has bitten both of the rats. Hopefully, he'll get to eat this one. I don't think that rat's feeling too good right now. Poor guy. He's gonna go up there with the mouse. He says, hey, maybe if I get up here with the mouse, I'll be protected. Maybe. I need to be up there with the mouse. Oh my goodness. There we go. It's not looking good. Oh my goodness. Now he's coming over here by guess who? Someone who wouldn't mind eating both of Mr. Green's kills. It would be Mrs. Green. But over here, you can see right hot on the trail is Mr. Green. And he's trying to find what just happened. And thankfully, what just happened turned around and is heading back his direction which is a good idea because now they can meet and I'm hoping that venom will take place real will take will take effect real quick so that we don't have the disturbance of all the movement and kicking and thriving around which makes him nervous makes me nervous I think I'm nervous shaking poor guy come on man now that's a neurotoxic venom, so it's slowly but surely it's paralyzing that poor little uh, rat where he's not going to be able to breathe here in a little while. The mouse is like, man, I was the first one in here. No one's touched me. That rat's like, oh, to be a mouse. If only I could be a mouse right now. You know, I knew a mouse and he didn't have a house. I don't know why I called him Gerald. Look at that. Speaking of Gerald. We have a mamba coming in because they need to eat some groceries. And that little mouse is not helping. Look at the little mouse. He's like helping out. He's like, you know, I do what I can, man. Wow. 
All right. Mouse has got to go, no question about that. <clears throat> Let's hope Mr. Green is not intimidated by this stupid little mouse. Oh, come on, Mouse, what are you doing? Get out of there. This is none of your business, man. Get out of here, man. I said, go give, go give me some mustard. Go give me some, go give me some mustard. You know what I, mean? I said? Mustard. Go. Yeah. People nowadays, and I bet you expect a tip. You're sorry. Man, Mr. Green can be aggressive when he wants to be. I thought he was gonna cuss out that poor wait uh, waiter. The waiter was like, "Hey, man." Just a little mouse. Look at me over here. I got my house. I don't know why they call me Gerald. I'm getting rather old, but I'm a good mouse. Right. Good. It's Mr. Green that's eating that other rat. Isn't that great? That is very good. Let me zoom a little bit. Let's see if we can see Mr. Green eating his rat. Oh, and the whole time that's going on. You got this proud, all so cocky little mouse running around in there. Now what are we going to do? There's a mouse in the house. You know, we can't leave. If they're not interested in that mouse, you know what? I can't leave inside there with them if they're not going to kill it or eat it. That means I have to get it back out that could be a little more involved than I was hoping to get. I'd probably have to remove these snakes and they just freshly ate. So I really don't want to do that. But if they don't eat that little mouse, that mouse will eat them. I could put a little dog food in there to maybe keep that, dog, that mouse from eating them it can have something to eat and there's a water bowl in there so it's got water but there's a full-grown mouse in there and they're the most dangerous for being able to chew up a snake they're definitely the most dangerous so I definitely don't want to leave a full-grown mouse in there and even for Mr. Green, he kind of came out for a while and hung out with us for a little bit. Not like Mrs. Green, like here, right here. It's always about her, you know. Every time we ever film Green Mambas, guess who we get most of the time? She's like uh, a prima donna. Yeah, you little diva. I know how you are. And she can sing. You should listen to her. Wow. Pretty amazing. So, and now she has a backup singer, that little, that little mouse, where is that mouse? There he is. Look at that. There's a mouse in the house. 
Yeah, what are we gonna do about that, guys? Yes, sir. Well, I'm glad that both of my mamas got to eat, and it was pretty smooth. It wasn't horrible. But anyway, now I've got to get that mouse out of there. Amazing. Let's look at this. Right over there. See that right there? What's going on right down there? Hmm? That is Mr. Green. And guess what he's finishing up on right over there? That's, yes, that is correct. He's finishing up on his rat. Good boy, Mr. Green. See if I can focus without being crazy. 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 Mr. Green. He's a good boy. See how green he is? Now that's him, see? On the right, and this the one beside him, that's Mrs. Green. You can see what I say, he's more of a darker, more vivid green than she is. She's beautiful, but he's a... Uh, He's beautiful, really. He's got a pretty green. He's a dark. He's a real pretty green. Don't tell her I said that. But look how much he's stretching to get that rat down. That's cool. These guys are growing. I'm trying to put some weight on them. It's hard to put weight on a mamba. If there's something that you... It's hard to make obese, it would be a mamba. I mean, there's certain snakes it's easy to make obese. They're fat, you know, lethargic snakes. They're easy to make fat and obese. But mambas and cobras and certain, there's certain colubrids and elapids and there's certain ones that are just real wiry. And you can't make them obese. You can try, but it's going to be difficult. So I'm not trying to make these mambas obese, but I do want to put some, uh, you can see that they got some nice girth to them. They're looking good. They're eating good, as you can see. So we're good. And Mr. F Mr. Green sitting there, he's making one of his rare appearances, and look how beautiful that green mamba is. That is a beautiful dude. Can you imagine what him and Mrs. Green are going to look like as babies? Well, uh, not them as babies. They were babies. But they're not babies anymore. In another year or so. And there she is poking up over there. Saying, she, you talking to me? No, I'm talking about you, baby. Your ears are burning. She's like, yes, yes. I know you're talking about me. The star of the show, Mrs. Green. Yeah, beautiful green mambas. There they are. Both of them together in the front right here. And me with a little mouse dilemma. Mouse around the house. What do you do? Look at that. They're so pretty. Man. They're so cool. And then the thing is, I've had them for a, quite a while now, and the more I'm around them, which is a, more frequent than most people. Most people that have snakes like this don't spend a lot of time around them. Look, he's not through swallowing yet. How about that? He's still got that lump in his throat. Oh, I guess that's his body in the background. Yeah. Cool taters, man. What beautiful snakes. This is too cool. Man. It looks so good. 
and I'm going to rebuild them a new. They're going to get a new enclosure of their own. All right. We are going to call it the end here. Love y'all. Bye.